Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to create your own server. Now, one thing to note before you start this, it's not going to be a pro-hosted server. And pretty much what that means is that um, a company will be running the server, and it'll have a public IP address. So it's not going to be that type of server. It's going to be one that's going to be privately hosted by your own computer. So... Now to start off, uh, before you start this video, please check out two other videos that you will need to complete this tutorial. You'll need to first have Hamachi and uTorrent. And I'll have uh, clickable links at the end of this video, and I'll have the links in the description below. So please check those out, pause the video, install those two programs first, and then you know we can continue. So let's start. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your Steam and go to Unturned and uh, Properties and you're going to want to direct yourself to your local files. Now if you don't already have a shortcut to these local files, I would create one. I have one on my desktop right here. So pretty much, you know, I can just open it up, click of a shortcut. Pretty, pretty simple. So once you get into these local files, you need to look for this unturned icon and it it won't work if you use one of these icons like on your desktop or something you're going to want to use this one inside the source files so you're going to want to right click that and you can either send to desktop create a shortcut or just create a shortcut and i'll just send it to desktop so we can do everything on there but you can just create a shortcut and do it in here so these are actually servers right in here but as long as you create a shortcut, it will work. So you're gonna to want to rename this shortcut to, you I mean, could say, Unturned Server. And yeah, some simple name, something that you remember. Okay, now you're gonna to want to right-click that and go to Properties. And it's really, really good how the um, Unturned was made because um, the way it was made, you can actually create a server just out of this uh, shortcut. So I've got a file here and I need to copy and paste this onto the end of this target. And I will also have this in the description. You can just copy and paste it from there. Um, if that doesn't work, I would try manually typing it in because sometimes uh, copying and pasting from YouTube adds extra hidden characters that might mess stuff up. But pretty much it should be the file path to get to your um, unturned, original unturned icon and then it should be uh, slash no graphics slash batch mode and plus secure server and then this is a uh, very important this last forward slash and then there's it should be the server name so unturned uh, let me spell it right server and you would want that to match the uh, shortcut name so that needs to match this right here. I mean, it doesn't have to, but for your sake, it really should. Okay, so then you're gonna press apply and okay and pretty much exit out of that. You're gonna still want to have access to uh, this folder here. So you're gonna double click this and it's going to run the server. Now, at first, it won't really do anything. You should see uh, this funny symbol up here, and then these numbers up here. And this is actually the version of Unturned that the server is running. So after that, that happens, you're gonna wanna close out and head back over to this folder. And so pretty much what that will have done is we'll have created a server folder. And as you can see, these are my other servers, but it just created this folder. And inside, you've got workshop and server. You're going to want to go into server and go into the commands.dat. And you're going to want to open that. You can open that with uh, a notepad, or I'm going to use notepad++. So pretty much, there's um, a couple commands that you can actually access from within your server. And uh, we'll rerun the server just so you can see them. Once you run the server, um, if you do help, it'll show you all the commands that you can do. So pretty much we want you know some basic stuff. So we're going to want um, the name of the server. So you're just going to want to type name, space, 
you know, whatever you want it to be called. Uh, we'll just call it unturned server for now. And you're just going to want to space down for each one of these. So we'll do the name. Uh, we're going to want, we won't bother with much of the other stuff. We'll do password. So password's an option. You don't have to have a password, but you, know, you can have it. So password and then space, whatever you want the password to be. So I'll just leave it at that for now. So we also want um, the map. Uh, that'll just be map and then space uh, the map name right afterwards, PEI. I think it is case sensitive, so I'd make sure about that. And we're also gonna want mode. And that is easy, normal, hard, and gold. So we'll put it on easy for now. Um, also, there's PVE and PVP. We'll make it PVP. For that command, it's just PVP, and that's it. And then also port. And this will decide what port you want the server to be running through. And really at this point you don't really need to know what that means you just need to pick a number and I choose 25443 just because it's easy for me to remember and I think that is all you need um, I think you can put bind and then put a specific IP for your server but generally this is all you need for a basic server you'll have a specific name it'll have a password it'll have a specific map you're playing you definitely need that one um, it'll be on easy, you can make it normal or hard. It'll be PvP, and it'll be hosted on this port. So you definitely need all of those. So, okay. So, at this point, you can exit out of this, the server. And this is that, that's actually a hard exit. Uh, just pressing the X will not save anything about the server. Uh, in terms of what's on the map, it'll just exit out. So now that we've got this, we can, we'll minimize that for now. So let's rerun the server. And now as you see, as we ran the server, it successfully set the name to this, uh, set the password, set the map, set the game mode, set the port, and then um, setting the brake pad mini dump app ID, whatever that is, you always need to see this before your server will be running. That's just some extra info. But it'll do that automatically, so don't worry about that. Okay, so now where the other um, programs come into play. So we've got Hamachi, and we need this uh, program to actually host the IP for the server. Now we also need uh, uTorrent. Looks like my Hamachi is slightly broken but I can just re-download that and it won't be a problem. Uh, let's also start up uTorrent. And uTorrent will actually take care of the port. Okay, so this happens uh, semi-often with Hamachi. Um, it's kind of common. It would actually be useful if you uh, kept a um, Hamachi.exe, uh, like an installer around. Because Hamachi does break every so often. The nice thing about it is you just have to reinstall it and it will work completely fine so as you can see something's been messed up the drivers and the files and folders uh well it's missing files and folders and the service is stopped so let me fix this and i will be right back okay guys so i pretty much just had to restart the service in task manager so yeah that should be a quick 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 fix to that problem so you're going to want to start up your hamachi and at this point, you don't really want your server running because you need to start it afterwards. So pretty much, um, we got all these networks on Hamachi. And pretty much anybody that you want to join your server needs to be connected to you through one of these random networks. So um, what that tells us is when somebody connects, this will be their IP, um, my IPv4 address will be the IP of the server that I'm hosting. So now on uTorrent, so pretty much for Hamachi you just need it to run and be connected with people. That's pretty much all you need. Now for uTorrent it's a little more complicated. What you gotta do is just open up uTorrent so it looks like this. 
go into file and uh, actually go to options and go to preferences now you're gonna want to go to connections uh, probably will start on general you want to go to connections and you're gonna go to port used for incoming connections and you're gonna want that to match the port that you set as the port for your server so 25443 25443 need to be exactly the same and then press OK and actually at this point you can close uTorrent because it will actually run in the background as you see the icon still there it's not really doing anything at this point but it is actually hosting the port so we already have the port set up we have the Hamachi set up and now all we got to do is test our server so Hamachi you do need to keep running so pretty much at this point we can close out of this we just need to make sure we knew the port and uh, let us rerun our server so pretty much nothing's gonna look like it's changed okay so let us join our own server now as we're starting up on turns um, to join your own server you actually don't need to use an IP address as long as it's hosted on the same computer you're playing on now the server we just created is different than a rocket server when you actually create a rocket server you actually mod unturned so that it can't be played normally anymore it has to be a rocket server so you pretty much have to dedicate a machine if you're creating a rocket server so to get on your own server one you need to make sure it's running it'll look like this the whole time two you want to go to play and it won't it might show up in servers for you uh, it'll be local area network if it's anywhere um, but the best way to connect is actually by just going to connect so if you're hosting the server you're gonna be doing localhost for the IP address you could also put in your Hamachi IP address but you know you don't want to bother with that and then the port that you chose and also the password which I set as password and the password will automatically come up as those uh, hashtag symbols just to keep it private so theoretically if I did it correctly I will be connecting to the server and yes it works as soon as you see it loading in on the map you know it worked so yeah this is actually a server and it's pretty much that simple uh, right here you can see how many players are on who's on you can't see them in the map but you know this is just basic PEI and yeah you can actually set it to a bigger maximum number of players if you want suggested is 8 though so you don't overrun your computer and I'm running this on a laptop if you ran this on a, a nice desktop you would actually get way better results um, in terms of how well your computer is able to function as it is I'm just running this on a basic uh, Dell laptop may as well taken care of but I've gotten up to uh, three people on one of my custom servers now when you get on the server on this uh, server um, command prompt sort of thing you will see connecting player ID blah 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 and then you know the name of the character and so pretty much you'll see whoever's on currently now you can also talk to the people in game by wait you gotta press say space and then your message so now if I look in game you can see there is an alert and it says server hello in the upper left um, something else you can do is you can actually change the time of day you can just put day and it'll change it to daytime uh, you can put night it'll change it to nighttime um, I haven't tried this nope midday doesn't work um, noon doesn't work midnight doesn't work so pretty much just day and night but then you can also do help and see a bunch of other commands you can do you can give people experience um, that would be the skills for for those types of skills that's what the experience they're talking about um, you can kick people you can give people items I mean you can change the perspective of the server stuff like that so there's many other things you can do but uh, if it's PvP you there's actually an exit time so you don't combat log as well so you know just something else to consider 
But now let's try connecting as if we weren't the host of this server. So pretty much, oh, found a banana shirt. That's cool. Let's go back to the Hamachi. And pretty much the best way to do this is um, you're going to want to right click up here and copy IPv4. For them, it'll be like right clicking somebody like this and copying their IP address. And that's only their uh, Hamachi IP address. It's not like their public IP address or anything. So you're going to want to paste that IP address in the IP range up here. And so for somebody connecting that's not hosting the server, you just want that IP, same port, same password. And also for other people connecting, they don't need uTorrent. They only need Hamachi. So, I mean, it's really great in that way. So hopefully this will work. And yes, you know, it should be pretty much the exact same thing. I mean, obviously as the host, I can just connect with local host and that's a better connection because it doesn't have to go through Hamachi. But uh, yeah, proof of concept, this works. Uh, this also works for uh, custom maps. Another thing to consider is that your maps do have to be the same version. So if you had a outdated version of the server or an outdated client version, they will need to be the same in order to get on. And also if somebody's trying to get on your custom server and they've got mods installed, it's possible that there will be a conflict and it'll give some weird error like uh, outdated version of server or servers running a different version or something like that. So you're gonna wanna make sure uh, if you're running into problems, you're gonna wanna get rid of mods and you're gonna want to make sure that your game is updated. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do a server. It's really, really pretty simple. Um, there is no distance limit, I don't think, with the server. You don't have to be on the same Wi-Fi. Uh, the Hamachi pretty much takes care of that. Um, yeah. Um, one last thing, when you're shutting down your server, you actually want to type shut down. You don't want to just exit out. Otherwise, all um, map data will be erased. So pretty much if you built a house in your server and you just exit out up here, it will not save that house. But if you shut down, it will actually save it and next time you get on, you know, your house will still be there. Now items will be gone, zombie spawns will be different, item spawns will be refreshed and all that stuff. But, you know, it works. It, it works. So, yeah. Please like this video guys if you enjoyed it, um, please stay tuned and subscribe if you want to see some more. I will go into depth about some loadouts and some other stuff you can add to your servers to customize it a bit more. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all later.